Hi, my name is Silent Gimmon, and I am the owner of The Trust Is You in a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. Yesterday, I had a very interesting meeting yesterday where the gentleman is in charge of a financial advisor. He had talked to his CPA, and he's the CPA said he doesn't think it's real. I want to dispel all these false uh, things. This uh, the Spendthrift Trust is legal, patented in the IRS tax code 643B, like Bravo, and it has been in front of the United States Supreme Court twice. Both times, the Supreme Court has honored and favor of the Spendthrift Trust. I have case law beyond belief that I can send to you if you if your CPA is telling you the wrong information. I am sorry, so many CPAs have no idea what this is. I was trying to tell the gentleman that his CPA needs to uh, get a book. It is a textbook. It is Scott and Asher on Trust's fifth edition. Uh, this is what uh, uh, trust attorneys study in law school. Asher is Scott is S C O T T and Asher A S C H E R on Trust's plural fifth edition. Uh, this is as legal as legal can be. With the beneficial trust, my clients are going to save at least 70% under federal taxes year after year after year. Mo most of my clients who have 1099 income are saving more than 70%. Some of them are up to 90%. I too am up to 90%. Also, if you're in a high tax uh, place, like one of my clients in Chicago, he's not going to pay that 4.95% 4, 4 state taxes because he's gonna file everything in his 1041 uh, paperwork. If you're an investor, you need the uh, beneficial trust. With the beneficial trust, I don't care if you're a passive investor, a real estate investor, uh, a crypto investor, crypto miner. If you're doing the stock markets, you're doing options trading, you're doing uh, rental income, short-term or long-term, or if you have royalties, maybe you're a songwriter, an author, or in the NFT world, you're going to save these taxes year after year after year, generation after generation after generation. Capital gains, short-term, 23.8%, with past legislation to raise that up to 40% for some tax brackets. Hasn't gone to law yet. Long-term capital gains, 15%, or 20% on your profits. If you're selling a business, please listen. If you're selling anything, an Amazon store, a car wash, or a bakery, you're going to take what you originally paid for it, and then you're gonna take what you're, uh, what you're selling it for, that in between, the US federal government is going to take either 15% or 20% in capital gains. I work with business brokers for a reason. The uh, interest income, if you're a passive investor, if you're doing the Burr strategy, I have 12 notes. Uh, if you're doing Forex investing, you're going to save interest income. Forex investors, bad news for you. You get tax on interest income and capital gains. This is why you need to know about the Spendthrift Trust. If you're in the stock market or getting dividend income or stock market investing, you're going to save dividends. Options traders, listen to this. For, uh, if you do options for a year or less, it's 40%. Or if the options trading is a year or more, it's 60%. You'll save those taxes. Yes, day traders, you are going to save federal taxes with the Spendthrift Trust. That's one of my biggest growing areas right now are day traders. Uh, if rental income, yes, if you could have short-term like Airbnb, Verbo, traveling nurses or students, or you could have long-term, maybe 10 doors, 20 doors, uh, 100 doors. Yes, you can take depreciation. But you're also going to want to know about the Spendthrift Trust because besides saving federal taxes, it's going to keep your information private. Your LLC, S Corps and C Corps don't do that. And for all you people with rental income, you are not going to pay any judgments if you get sued. I can't stop you from being sued, but you won't pay any judgments. Think of this. If you have rental income and one of your renter's dogs gets loose and bites someone or someone falls down the stairs, the first person they're going to sue is a person who owns the building. The, uh, the old adage from Nelson Rockefeller, own nothing, control everything. They can't sue the trust. They can only sue the individual. And if you have no money, that lawsuit goes away. And then finally with royalties, like uh, NFT royalties, uh, 
mineral rights. One of my clients inherited his granddad's horse farm with six oil wells. You're an author, an actor, songwriter, a musician. Again, I want to make sure people understand this is as legal as legal can be. I I was so disappointed. Uh, he he's a hedge fund. He he runs a hedge fund out of New York City. He's getting bad advice from his CPA because his CPA is not open to listening to knowledge. I I, I was willing to send him the the case law, send him a link for uh, Scott and Asher. He had no desire to go forward. So any of his clients that he's working with are not learning about how to save federal taxes year after year, decade after decade, and generation after generation. I do have a free 18-minute education at my website, thetrustisyou.com. I also do my podcast, Stop Paying Capital Gains Now, with an exclamation mark. And I do go live every Monday night, my Q&A, 8 p.m. East Coast time. Um, I go over the slide deck and open it up for questions. Please, please, if you have questions, either set an appointment, a private appointment with me, or come on Monday nights, because I want to make sure, even if your CPA is telling you incorrect information, you're armed with the right information so you can save federal taxes all the time. I do this. I have many clients who have the Spencer of Trust. We are not in trouble with the IRS. Take care. Have a wonderful day.